a renowned disability expert, Louis Awuta, has charged parents who have disabled children to strive towards according them with quality education in order to be meaningful in society. She gave the charge at the closing of a two-day boot camp for women with disabilities held in Abuja. Louis said, without quality education, competing in the nation's political space may be difficult for persons with disabilities, thus appealing that educating disabled persons should be regarded as a topmost priority of every individual. Seated in this hall is a network of disabled women from all walks of life, focusing on the rights of persons and with the need to make appropriate policies that will promote inclusion in the electoral system, particularly as the nation is warming up for the 2023 general elections. The event, which is also in commemoration of this year's International Human Rights Day and 16 days of activism, is aimed at educating and building the confidence of persons with disabilities while making recommendations to the electoral body before the general election. We need to encourage children with disabilities. Let's start from the grassroots. As families, you are a family member to your family name you are, you are carrying. So we should start from the family. What are you doing for children with disabilities? They need to go to school like their fellow counterparts. They need to be educated. And those that disability affected them through poverty and perception and um, some other factors need to start afresh. If you are an adult with disability that have not gone to school, you need to start thinking towards that direction. We have adult education. We can capitalize on adult education to be able to get your certificates and pursue your other certificates from the university to the higher level. So I need to use this medium to encourage persons with disabilities that have not gone to school to start thinking towards that direction. And I want to see families encouraging children with disabilities. My family supported me 100%. I was my dad's favorite, I was my mom's favorite. My siblings come through me to get things from my parents. They saw me as a priority to give attention to, and that was what they did. And today they are proud of it. So parents with children with disabilities should prioritize their issues. They should send them to school. I know, yes, you will spend double but just try. Also speaking, Lewis noted that in order to have total inclusion, the government must make adequate policies that will capture the vulnerable groups so as to meet the needs and aspirations of the people. Uh, looking at following up with policy makers to keep reminding them how significant and important it is to include the vulnerable groups, which are women, young girls, women with disabilities, the elderly, pregnant women, and others. We want to see them being included in whatever government is doing, in every agenda. If you have four agendas, it should be five when you include disability inclusion. If you are planning of having three agenda in your government, you should have um, an agenda for the inclusion of the vulnerable groups. On our path, the Network of Disabled Women Facilitator, Egede Choma, laments that the disabled groups are not committed to the electoral process, stressing that there is a need for them to imbibe in politics in order to build the nation. Choma added that women's roles have not been fully harnessed, hence calling for more sensitization on the path of the government for significant growth. Nigeria has failed to benefit from the significant group of people. Nigeria has failed to benefit from the women with disability. And I'm sure it is because of lack of awareness. Evidence that the representation of women with disability in the government is 
like um, one percent as about one in every five women from the from 18 years and older live with one form of disability or the other we are homemakers and in the place of governance in the place of nation building women would do greatly and then women with disabilities that must have gone through a lot and experience and uh, fully experienced will be able to give great ideas to the system of government and can help greatly in building the government. Meanwhile, one of the participants, Eunice Mokocha, who narrates her experience in the past electoral process, therefore calls on the INEC to provide the needed atmosphere for persons with albinism so as to encourage participation. Persons with albinism face during electoral process, especially during the voting process, is uh, seeking shade, especially when the voting process is done outside in the sun. Persons with albinism are allergic to the sun because the ultraviolet rays causes uh, skin cancer. So we being exposed to the sun, it's not good for our skin. So during electoral processes, persons with albinism will need to seek shade, especially when the electoral process is being done under the sun. Uh, my last experience was not uh, funny at all. I even tried to tell the personnel that this is what I am facing. I cannot be under the sun. Could you please attend to me? But uh, my pleads were on deaf ears. So I think the uh, Independent National Electoral Commission needs to make available uh, a process where persons with albinism and persons with disability can vote without uh, challenges. The conference, which is themed political participation, legislative process, and advocacy, is apt as groups believe rights should be given to everyone to vote and be voted for, thus appealing to the government to be committed to issues relating to persons with disabilities so as to enhance the possibility of getting into power. Vincent Okushi, QTV News, Abuja. Yeah,